This is Amy and Kid at Sasser's Arena for practice night. The one on the left is your exhibition. The one on the right will be your timed run. And I'm going to let them both go through regular play and then slow play. The one on the left is when you are exhibitioning. Um, I really like that he's really snappy in his turns. I like how quiet you're riding with your hands and not getting in his way. And really using your legs and looking at your spots. That was great. The next step is going to be to start going to the horn in the turns. On the right, you really sent him with a lot more speed to first barrel, and he handled it. You spent him with a lot more speed to third barrel and home, and he really kept it together, too. So I was so proud of you, Amy. You were really riding good tonight. Um, so let's go through and do this in slow motion. And then we'll just kind of critique it as we go. The next step, like I said, is going to be going to the horn. And this will just allow you, as he starts going faster, to not get in his way. So as you're coming in here, right there, you have really nice pocket. But if you could go to the horn, you can see he's starting to think come around. If you go to the horn and just keep your focus on looking right back at that spot about five feet behind the barrel because he's really thinking turn that barrel especially when you have a barrel that's that close to the fence they're going to anticipate it even more so when your leg gets to spot one the entrance that's when you could drop that outside rein and go to the horn and then I like how you're sitting through the turn but what you could do at this point is if you pull up on the horn and you have a really good seat and balance so you're not in his face a lot of riders would be in a horse's face but you riding two hands is okay because you have such a good seat you're not in his face so but of course when we start adding more speed it'd be good to just go to the horn so as you can see right there you're doing really good you're sitting your reins are loose you're not in his way at all and um, I'm going to back that up just a little bit. But as you can see, he's really starting to think turn when his shoulder gets to the barrel. So you have to really think about getting him to his pocket because he, he's really getting in tight. And that looks good, but I love how much outside leg you're using. So, but again, he, because he's really thinking turn, instead of looking over where you're looking right now, you should try to be looking in that area. So as you're coming across the pin, look here. And then as you get here, look back here. And that'll help keep that pocket because he's really thinking turn that barrel. So as you add more speed again, what I like though, even though you're riding two hands, you're out of his face, loose rein, you have strong legs, so you're able to pull yourself up on the exit and never get in his face. And that's a good thing. So, um, you know, you're really riding him quite nicely there. So right here, again, it's nice how he's sitting for rate. If anything, he's letting his hip get out just a little bit because he's wanting to turn a little bit when his shoulder gets there. See how you can see that? His hip's in right here. It's all good. You bump him with your inside leg, but then he just starts to think about turning. So he gets his hip out a little. And you're doing fine there, but as you can see, he's really cutting it close. So that's why when we practice, it's very important that you look to spot one and make him give you pocket on the back side. Finish tight, give you pocket, finish tight, give you pocket, finish tight. And just keep encouraging him to not take away this pocket in this area. The only place he's allowed to leave tight is the exit. So that will help as well. But again, you don't get in his way with the two hands. You're up when you need to be up. When you're down when you need to be down, you're driving with your legs and you're looking at your spots. The only thing he's got going on right now because of the speed and the barrels on the fence is he's just thinking turn a little. So now we're going to look at the video where you're coming in a lot faster. I really like your approach. I love how you're lining up with third. I love that you're riding to your approach. That all looks really good. I'm going to let it um, go into the pocket here. And as you can see, you're totally nailing getting to spot one. And then you should be focused on getting to spot two. And he comes around. He just loses his hip just a little bit. And I think that's where I think you see how you're up right there. Your body position is up. 
What I'd like to see you do with adding more speed is this is where it's going to be crucial with going to the horn. Because see, he's starting to swing his butt, and we don't want that. We want him to not be turning on his front end so much and using his hip a little bit more. So by you sitting down, shoulders back, sitting on your pockets, and you sit through the turn, you can start using your outside leg and encourage him to keep that hip in and, and then leave tighter and straighter on his hindquarters. So that's the next step that we need to watch for. And that's very common with a horse that really wants to turn. As you can see, he's wanting to drop in a little bit. But this one, I love this barrel because even though he's thinking turn, he still kept his pivot foot up under him. So watch his back pivot foot. It's under, it's under, it's under. And he's really pushing off. So that was a really nice turn. Good job there. And same thing here. He's under himself, he's under himself. And then, boom, he's still able to use his butt and push off nicely. So you did a really good job there, Amy, on all three um, exhibitions. And with your timed run, everything looked really good to me. I like how you're using your legs to keep him honest going in and coming out. Um, like I said, you're not getting in his way at all. And you're just riding really smooth and pretty. And if anything, he's just anticipating the turn a little. We just want him to keep his hip under him so he can be snappy and get in and out. So, but great job tonight. Really proud of you.